The great thing about tabular editor is all I'm doing is I'm managing code. I'm not managing code and data, right? So if you, if you've worked with tabular error before, you know, you know that like deploying out to the ser service could take like a long time as all the data gets uploaded in and everything with tabular editor, you're not moving data. You're just moving code out into the service. So when the code is out there, you have to, you have to go, you have to make your connection. You got to do your refresh and then you're, you're off to the races. Okay. But I'm not going to show you all that stuff. That's other people have videos out there. I just want to show you the basics of some of the real advantages for why you should be looking at tabular error two and tabular error three. All right. All right. That's our demo. We're just trying to keep it as light as we can. Next steps for you, <clears throat> go download Tabular Error 2. Head over to SQLBI.com, go to their tools and download it. Give that a shot. Try the things that I just did. Go in, move some of the, the uh, uh, fields into a folder. See how easy that is to work. Try deploying the model out onto the service.